Okay, time for the uh, anti-Italian uh, part of this broadcast. Uh, trigger warning. I'm going to do some afraid of phobia over here. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but we got to talk about these things. All right, we got to talk about these things. Chris Cuomo has been fired from CNN. All right, for doing what? Helping out his brother. Helping out family, dude. Bing bong, Chris Cuomo's out. Got one year and then, white. to end. The situation is unlike anything I could have imagined. Chris Cuomo was one of CNN's most popular anchors. I love you very much. Thank you for coming on the show. But after multiple women accused then-Governor Andrew Cuomo of sexual misconduct, Chris Cuomo did not acknowledge the scandal on his show and was later found to have advised his brother's team on its response, something Cuomo apologized for in August. It was a unique situation being a brother to a politician and a scandal and being part of the media. Oh, yeah, totally, dude. Real unique. Except it's not, okay? And the side of this conversation that I am, like, really frustrated by is not even necessarily using your uh, resources to, like, unmask uh, potential future accusers, you know, getting as much information as you can about those sources from your own resources as a person in the media. It's that, like, this conflict of interest has always existed. It has always existed within the Chris Cuomo, Andrew Cuomo relationship. And so much so that CNN banked off of it. And that's why Zucker originally defended Cuomo until it got to a point where Happy he could not defend him any longer. And, it, and that, that conflict of interest still exists. The media is incredibly nepotistic. Okay, a lot of people are related to one another. A lot of these like top journalists come from a long line of, uh, uh, of, of journalists or a long line of like people in politics right. and whatnot. It's just how it is. Okay. I tried to do the right thing. But last week's release of documents from the New York attorney general's office showed the younger Cuomo was far more involved in his brother's strategy and defense. And on Tuesday, CNN suspended him. By Saturday, Cuomo was fired. In a statement, a CNN spokesperson said... Even Anderson Cooper? Brother, Anderson Cooper is a Vanderbilt. Like, what are you talking about? We had cause to terminate. When new allegations came to us this week, we took them seriously Thanks and saw no reason to delay hassle. taking immediate action. That allegation alleges sexual misconduct by Chris Cuomo from a client of attorney Deborah Katz, who also represents one of the women alleging sexual misconduct by Andrew Cuomo. Katz contacted CNN on Wednesday, the day What's after up, Cuomo Sam, was suspended. What was it that ultimately led to the firing of Chris Cuomo? I think it very much depends what angle you look at it from. David Folkenflik is a media reporter for NPR. Him. There's no way to disentangle the firing of Chris Cuomo from the nature of the allegation lodged against him several days ago. The fact that it was actually a sexual harassment accusation against this major TV star. There's, there's a couple things that I find to be really strange about this story. Okay. One. Yeah. It's just like, you could literally murder people and the media is like, whatever. But when it comes to like, uh, me too stuff, the media eats it up like crazy okay and obviously like this is not to say sexual harassment of the workplace is not a serious issue it 100 percent is this is not to say that andrew cuomo didn't deserve to be uh fired from his job he 100 percent does deserve to be fired from his job but it's wild to me that like so many other so many other instances of like andrew cuomo being horrible uh, all the way ranging back to like uh cutting medicaid and medicare spending in the state um, or, or even like offering immunity and legal protection to some of his donors that owned nursing homes when like people were just dropping like flies within those nursing homes, hiding that information, hiding nursing home deaths from the official record. Like that sort of stuff was absolutely brushed past. Okay. And for me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say this, but like, that's a little bit worse than sexual assault in the workplace. Okay. It's hard to I'm not not to say that like one is acceptable and the other is unacceptable. They're both unacceptable, but one is like way more unacceptable. Like you're just literally killing people like straight up. You know what I mean? And it's wild that like the media's coverage on that is just like, who cares? Yeah, whatever. That was just, you know, that's the cost of doing business. You know what I mean? Love you, Ajahn. And it is incredibly, it's just like insane to me. Equally bad. 
What do you mean equally? No, it's not equally bad. One is like straight up murder, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, they're both bad. And I admit that, but that's a, that's a crazy thing to just uh, uh, put out there. You know, there's no, there's no recovery from death, okay? Especially at the, at the thousands. <laughs> and, and not only that, but even before that, like, um, again, uh, uh, that's, that's horrible, horrifying. But part of the reason why New York took a fat hit on COVID early on is because like all the poor neighborhoods that rely on Medicaid uh, already had like a, a crippled healthcare, healthcare infrastructure. Okay. You know what I mean? And all of that stuff was known when Cuomo was being uh, celebrated as a hero. Okay. He's being celebrated as a hero and Andrew and Chris were, you know, chumming it up on mainstream media. He got an Emmy for, he got a daytime Emmy for that shit. Okay. Both should be career ending. Absolutely. Absolutely agreed. By the way, that is not a, you don't, you will not hear uh, a disagreement for me on that. Bing bong. But one is seen as the cost of doing business. And the other is what, what gets like, what is the final straw? And the reason why I find that really interesting the reason why I find that really interesting is because Time's Up and Me Too, or at least some of the actors within that movement, or rather some of the people that are uh, saying like, this is unacceptable and wrong, or have said that to others, literally straight up have shown that they don't give a fuck about it. Like they just do not care about sexual assault or harassment in the workplace or anywhere for that matter. Considering that there are people involved with Time's Up that were defending Andrew Cuomo. Like they were a part of Andrew Cuomo's team. Okay. And it's wild, dude. It's wild to see liberals truly weaponize this sort of stuff against those they perceive to be progressive or against those that they perceive to be a threat while simultaneously behind closed doors. They're just like, yeah, fuck them. fire every woman. I will never forget Liz Smith straight up being like, can't you fire every woman, fire every woman that works for you. Like, that to me is the perfect, that to me is like the perfect uh, summarization of how much liberals actually care about like cleaning up the workplace and, and punishing bad behavior and uh, truly moving into a, uh, truly moving into an evolved society where women are protected. It's crazy. Crazy to me. Um, the meme arc of your Fauci Cuomo 2024 hat is actually incredible. I know people still like point to that to be like, I'm a fan of both of them or something. Now, this isn't to say that like Republicans that point this out aren't deeply hypocritical themselves. They are, and they're monsters. Okay. Republicans say this all the time, except they're monsters, right? They do the exact same shit, if not worse, and don't even give a f bye bye Cuomo here. Let's in honor of Cuomo. So we couldn't be outside last year. Where we at? What is your message to Cuomo right now? Rot in hell, you son of a bitch! Cuomo, you put pineapple on your pizza and you get no You're next, de Blasio, you're next! You're next, we on your ass, boy! We on your ass, boy! If she say no, you gotta go! The Italians don't claim that kid Cuomo, we don't f with him! We don't f with that kid Cuomo! Get the f out of here! We got Trump in the silky on Union Square! We replacing Cuomo with Bobby Schmurda! So yeah, now one other part of this process that goes back to the weaponization of like social justice and causes like that is the, um, the, the, the never ending cycle where like other liberals in the media are like, oh yeah, well it's family. Cuomo is doing something for his family. Like Chris Cuomo was like helping out his family. It's whatever. Yeah. He should get yeeted, but it's still for family, whatever. Okay. What about the non-family part? What about the non-familial, like people that work on Andrew Cuomo's crisis PR team or people that are part of Cuomo's PR team that are straight the fuck up doing the exact same thing? What about every single instance where the revolving door, including at CBS mornings and every other facet of mainstream media is very much alive? Because if you get mad at Andrew Cuomo and Chris Cuomo, you have to recognize, okay? And I'm saying this uh, uh, to, towards all the liberals that are like, you know, oh, what the this is crazy. This is madness. But the relationship between Andrew Cuomo and Chris Cuomo is existent for every single media operative and, and uh, the DC mouthpieces and DC operatives that have you on my uh, a, a close relationship so they can manipulate 
media in whatever way they want to. Okay? Anyway, um, Sam the Saracen, thank you for the five, get the subs. Are whose journalistic fault was game planning and strategizing. Sorry if I'm ignorant. I'm fairly new to you. I've heard some of your word, VODs have you get mad at people that are liberal. So are you just more left-leaning than them? And if you're on the left side, wouldn't it be rather a person on the left side being charged than a person on the right side? What? No, dude. Bad is bad, okay? It doesn't matter. This isn't, this isn't my favorite sports team from my city beating your sports team, okay? Thanks, ...to protect the political career of his brother when it was enveloped by accusations of sexual harassment. A spokesperson for Chris Cuomo called the misconduct allegations untrue, adding if the goal in making these false and unvetted accusations was to see Mr. Cuomo punished by CNN, that may explain his unwarranted termination. I think a lot of people here had questions about credibility. I mean, there's a lot more even that we don't know about. Mm -hmm. um, but in like if people in the media are asking questions about credibility, then they have to re-examine their close relationship with lobbyists and PR people that they have on their broadcast to come talk about in an unbiased manner, whatever kind of multinational corporation that those people are literally getting fat checks from, okay? Oh man, it's so, oh God, what about the conflict of interest within the media? It's like, yeah, no, you're right. It exists in every facet of the media. Like it, it exists in every part of the media. I don't know, CBS Mornings is like lineup, but I'm sure after that, they probably has some person that, literally as a lawyer, uh, worked for AT&T talking about how, uh, you know, net neutrality is, is not great. Like they do this shit all the time. They have people that have done PR for big pharma or have gotten the bag from big pharma come in and give an unbiased opinion on how, uh, you know, Medicare for all will never work in America. And that is how you, uh, you manufacture consent. Enough that CNN felt they had to make a move. You don't abuse your position in journalism for personal or financial gain. His brother was being accused of sexual misconduct. Oh, get the f out of here, dude. Like, Baby what Chris Cuomo did is a completely unacceptable. What Chris Cuomo also did is, while still being completely unacceptable, more acceptable than the thing that everyone does in media, okay? Every single person, straight up, every single person, every part of mainstream media is... Uh, is doing exactly that, but instead of like a familial bond, they're doing it because they get money. Okay? Straight up, dude. Bing bong. That's how it works. Okay? You don't use your position as a reporter to, even if people think it's family first, shouldn't do it. It does appear to be getting a little messy now. Yeah. The, the more we hear about the story, the messier it gets, so we will see. Yeah. To be continued, for sure. Sorry, Rika, good to see Which big pharma company is paying you? All of them. You. That's why I'm super anti Medicare for all. All right, let's hear what Joe Rogan has to say, though. Wait, we watched this. Oh, we already watched this. Yeah, his his take was bullshit. It was really, really stupid. Skipping that. Bing bong. Chris Cuomo's out. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>